hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to see how to do a proper hair key in nuke so as you know guys i uploaded a tutorial series about how to do a keying in nuke three part tutorial series where i show you uh, from start to end how to do a proper keying but some of you guys are uh, confused about how to do that additive key and uh, how to recover the hair detail so here is a dedicated video about how to do uh, additive and how to preserve all the hair details so as you can see i'm using the same footage and the setup is very small compared to that uh, other tutorial so as you can see i have this bg and the plate input here and i made a base alpha uh, this is just a, a soft key and a core key this is not an in-depth one in that tutorial series i am going in-depth every step of this uh, process so here i just pre comb this uh, clean plate and i and i made a soft soft mat and, and a core mat uh, as quickly as possible so and then i did a pre-mult here and now we we are going to add an additive so what is additive basically is so if i show you my pre-mult here and as you can see in the alpha i have all the hair details and everything when i'm going to merge on this on a bg the details should be visible as you can see it's there but it's not that much visible compared to the actual plate if i show you the plate as you can see a lot more hair details here but when we merge with the bg we can't see anything because the bg is so bright uh, that it's eating uh, this transparent pixel this transparent as you can see it's not opaque it's transparent so we are seeing a background through it as you can see the detail is there but we can't see it because it's so transparent the way to achieve is to uh, do additive for additive we need a clean plate so that's why we are using uh, this ibk setup here we can also use the key light but if you want to do a additive you need a clean plate for that you need to use additive uh, sorry for that you need to use uh, ibk or any anything that can generate a clean plate it should match one to one as you can see the plate and the clean plate should have to match one to one except the character as you can see there is no uh, information is different as you can see the both are the same i am switching one to one as you can see so that's why we are making a clean plate uh, for two reasons we are making a clean plate uh, one just to get the soft mat here and the second is to to get a uh, additive these are the two main reasons that's why we are using this ibk setup and making a clean plate so we can add a uh, hair detail back uh, to this comp as you can see now uh, our alpha is correct because we have all the hair details and everything uh, but we need to do additive so what is additive now how to do a, a proper additive and how to do manually i mean we have a lot of tools and gizmos in a nucopedia but uh, what is the basic concept of additive so the the thing is you need a three input as you can see the bg one the plate one and the clean plate i added the three pipes here if you want to do a simple additive without using any gizmo or anything you need to do a simple math operation in a merge so take a one merge node and connect the plate and the clean plate just like that and do a operation divide and this is wrong so just switch the pipe and you will see this kind of image and take another merge and connect this one to this bg and the this divide one and set this to multiply and this is your additive is done so this is your additive the only thing is you need to uh, despeel uh, this one and the this one so for despeel i am using a simple ap despeel you will get this in a wikipedia i am not doing anything i am just copy pasting this one the default setting just connect this one here and now you can see this is the divide and this is the multiply as you can see now we are adding uh, now we are doing uh, additive basically and if i directly merge this one to here and just view it here if i disable this one see as you can see this is now we are successfully added the additive here in this comp uh, using the simple operation divide and multiply technique this technique will not work uh, in every scenario so that's why uh, we have a lot of tools and gizmos for just to do a proper additive because in that one we have a lot more control for the shadows and for the highlight part but if you want to know uh, the concept of additive this is this is the way you can do okay let's delete this one and let's use a tool set 
which is come from the nuke survival toolkit it's called additive gear pro this is made by the great tony line connect uh, fg to plate and the background to background clean plate to clean plate now if we are view this one let this one to the ski mix and as you can see so this is the default setting let me connect this to here because i am doing a key mix just for the hair part as you can see i mask this one and did a key mix here and uh, let's do it in a merge so as you can see so this is the default setting as you can see we are getting a lot more hair detail in this part here we are also getting but not uh, the hair detail is not much visible and here also see we can see all the hair details it's very nice so this is the default setting uh, obviously we have to tweak just remove this d spill we don't need and let's view this additive first and as you can see we have a lot more setting here but only thing we need to take care about this uh, dark value and the light values uh, add little bit of saturation but the default one is pretty good uh, the dark value and the light value we have to tweak and in some scenarios uh, we also have to use uh, you also have to change this uh, light value bg mult and uh, the dark tint one so let's see uh, what we what you can do so first of all as you can see the color is not correct i mean it's not correct so first thing what i'm going to do i'm changing the screen color and making the green one to one so as you can see it's making a bit better as you can see before it's very magenta now it's little bit warm and uh, let's change the dark value first let's increase so as you can see if i increase the dark value so this hair will get more darker as you can see but we don't want to go too much otherwise uh, this it, this will break basically let me just quickly add a bit here the best way to add uh, additive just we have to view it from final and then we have to tweak the settings so if i made a 2 as you can see we get a lot more detail but as you can see this is the breaking here so let me go back okay i think uh, Point 0.3 is good and let's go to the light uh, these are the light part as you can see so these are the dark hair these are the light hairs so let me increase this one let's see uh, let's see what is happening here as you can see uh, if i increase this uh, to the hair is getting brighter uh, because these these hair supposed to bright because light is coming from this direction so let me change this setting also as you can see if i change the light value bg mod it's getting right so let's make a two and let's compare with the split as you can see it's looking pretty good but i think it's too, too much bright uh, reduce this to one point oh sorry not this one this one maybe one yeah yeah as you can see uh, we are recovering the lot of hair details that you see in this part and let's compare the top one as you can see in top one also we are recovering a lot more hair details as you can see and one more thing if i gamma down this one you will see this issue uh, this this issue as you can see and it's coming from i will show you and how i will also going to tell you how to solve this one it's coming from the plate actually so because the plate is not properly denoised as you can see and when we are uh, doing the clean plate we are getting this issue as you can see hopefully you will see the separation as you can see the where the character is removed we can see the very clean part but where the plate actually is, is we can see the noise so first thing always uh, do a proper denoise and then we can go uh, further steps uh, but for this demonstration purpose uh, i'm not i'm not done with the denoise part so that's why you you are getting this line all over the hair so if you do a proper denoise this will not gonna visible doing a proper hair key you always need to add an additive so this is the big part of the hair key so if you if you are doing a proper if you are making a proper clean plate then your soft mat also comes with proper hair details and your ad additive will also work properly with proper hair details so it's it's all depend on your clean plate so make sure you spend more time to make a proper clean plate so you will not gonna face any issue to recovering the hair details and any edges not just for the hair but any edges but the main thing is do a proper clean plate and then do a proper additive i mean don't mess uh, the settings around and do always key mix 
always uh, use a key mix and roto only isolate the part that you want to add a uh, additive because sometimes when you are doing additive for the whole plate you you will get some issues in the edges so that's why it's always recommend to do a key mix as you can see i did a key mix on this part only and then i'm merging this one because all all, all other areas are not uh, getting that much issue thank you for watching if you have any questions about uh, this one if you still not understand let me know i will try to explain you thank you for watching so as always you will get uh, this project file in my patreon so do check that out and hope you find this one useful and hope you understand the concept of additive and how to how to do a proper additive so thank you for watching we will see you in a very next one bye